In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can make use of session in ASP.NET Core. So the first thing that we need to do is open up our startup.cs file. And inside that, we'll go to this method, configure services. And there, we'll be adding a service which will allow us to make use of sessions by doing services.add session. And here, we have three parameters. The idle timeout is set to 30 minutes. By default, IAS provides 20 minutes timeout, so you can configure that thing from here. And then the cookie-based session is created using these two options. Now, the next step required is going into the configure method. Now, inside configure method, what we'll be doing is we'll be making use of a method called use session. So, for that we'll be typing app dot use session and then save our startup.cs file. Now in order to make use of a session, what we'll be doing is next after configuring all these things in startup.cs, we can go to any of our controllers and inside our controller we'll be making use of this ihttp context accessor and that is what we'll be injecting over here. So in our controller class, we'll be making use of a private variable, ishttp context accessor. And here you can see, you can make use of sp.net core http. Once that is done, we'll be introducing this parameter as part of our controller constructor. So account controller is the constructor we have over here. What we'll be doing is we'll be introducing this accessor in our account controller. So here we'll be providing it as a parameter and then we'll be setting it over here just like we have done with the other two properties. Once that is done, the next thing that we do is go to any of the controller methods. For example, over here, we have this login method or register method. So what I'll do is just to demonstrate, we can go directly inside the login method. And here we can initialize the session object. So for that, we'll be doing the session like this, HTTP context accessor, HTTP context dot session. So we are now having a session variable with us and we can set this session variable to any type. For example, if we want to set a username like John Doe, so we can do that by saying session dot set string and then key value pair. So key is username and the session value that we want to store with this key is John Doe. And once you have done that, the next thing that you can do is retrieve this value. So setting is set string and to retrieve the same thing, you can just make use of get string method like this. So we say session dot get string and then you pass the same key that you had over here and this value will then go inside username. Now as of now we are passing a new login view model. Now let's create an instance of this model over here. Let's call it as user and let's see what this user model has to offer. So here it says email address, okay? Let's go ahead and add one more attribute to this. So here what we'll be doing is we'll be just introducing one more attribute and let's call it as public string username. And now that we have this, we'll copy this over here. We'll be creating the instance. So we'll say user.username is equal to what we have just now received from the session that we set. And now we'll be passing this as the model over here. Now if I go to the login view, under views, account, login, I can just go ahead and simply type the name of the user over here. So let's put it inside a span tag. C 
save this and now let's give it a try. So we'll run our solution now to check how things are working. And if we go to account slash login, you see the user name that we specified in our session object can be easily seen over here. And that's just one example of how you can make use of session in ASP.NET Core MVC projects, okay? So give it a try. And just to reiterate, what we did was, in our startup.cs file, the first thing that we did was inside our configure service method, we added a service called add sessions where we configured the idle timeout and cookie based session. Next, we went inside this configure method and here we made use of app.use session. After that, in our controller file, our controller class, we introduced iHttp context accessor and this was present in this namespace, microsoft.spnetcore.http. Once that's done, we introduce it as a parameter in our account controller constructor, and then we kind of initialized it there. After that, in whatever method we were required to set sessions, for example, in this one, we made use of the login method to demonstrate this. So here, we created a session variable using HTTP context accessor, HTTP context dot session, and using this session, we were able to set a session called username with this value and later we retrieved that to a variable called username and then we made use of that in our model and finally in our view we were able to display it using the model dot username parameter. So that was how to make use of session variables in ASP.NET Core.